I started to have coughing fits. And every time I finished a coughing fit, it was the <sighs> couldn't catch my breath. And at that point, I was like, something again, your body's telling you something is wrong. Um, and I just, I just later that night, I was going around midnight. I was so uncomfortable. I was so panic stricken that I was like, all right, let me, let me call an ambulance um, uh, and get to a hospital because something's wrong. I was having like a, a, a knife pain to the chest um, leading up to going to the hospital. Um, and that I had never experienced before. If you have walking pneumonia, which I would find out at four o'clock in the morning, um, walking pneumonia, which can be deadly and is an infection and does need to be treated, and they told me was, in their opinion, brought on by COVID, that was not admissible to the hospital in terms of like getting a room and therefore getting a COVID test. I probably lost or noticed that I lost my sense of smell and taste a few days into it. Um, and then um, like three days after I started getting sick, I got tested. And that test took eight or nine days to come back. On day eight of being sick with this like really severe fatigue and like not that bad body aches, I started getting fevers on the eighth day. And then I had fevers for a week and like severe body aches and the cough got much worse. And I had like chest tightness and shortness of breath. I'm a bit stronger each day, a little bit, uh, not quite so breathless. Uh, but in terms of my mind and heart and soul, I'm a thousand times better than I was a few days ago when I was in hospital. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's like, uh, coming from a black and white movie into uh, a full color one. Um, it's just a great, great, overwhelming feeling. And then th things seemed to get better. I came out of the ICU. I was still in an isolation room, but um, seems things seemed to get better. And then they seemed to um, get worse again. And um, it's a strange feeling, you know, you're, you're kind of going along life's road happily enough and you can plenty of room for maneuver and all the rest of it and suddenly you're whacked into this small dark narrow uh, side road which has no turnings and you have no choice but to go down it